the United States, yes, the United States, not the European Union, not the UN, at this point has made two guarantees. First, the protection of the Ashraf residents when they agreed to disarm in 1994. And secondly, the United States guaranteed their safety when they agreed to move from Camp Ashraf to the concentration camp like facility called Camp Liberty. Today, the United States is clearly in breach of its treaty and international obligations, as well as written guarantees to, that the United States provided each resident of Camp Ashraf in 2004 when the United States promised to protect them until their final disposition. Today, the Obama administration's shocking indifference toward the dire humanita humanitarian situation at Liberty is downright shameful. It pains me to see my government turn its back and to display such indifference, and most of all, to ignore its commitments and its promises. That is not the American way. And it's not like that we don't know that this is a catastrophe waiting to happen at the hands of an Iranian-controlled Maliki government. The first rocket attack, as we know, occurred last February, and the la latest occurred just a week ago today. But, but that's not the full story. The sorry state of affairs at Liberty, lack of proper medical treatment, constant and continuous inhumane harassment at the hands of the Iraqis, preventing the delivery of foodstuffs, preventing the removal of sewage, and hundreds of other harassing techniques show the Iraqi army and the Maliki government for what they really stand for. It is a government and an army that excels in harassing women, children, and the infirm. The United States must, must quit passing the buck. Secretary Kerry, the buck stops with you and President Obama. And talking about buck passing, I noted in, in Secretary Kerry's statement issued immediately after the rocket attack, he said, and I quote, we remain absolute. The United States remains committed to assisting the government of Iraq and Yanami in implementing the December 25, 2011 agreement to quick, quickly ro relocate the residents of Camp Haraya outside Iraq. We must find a permanent and long-term solution that ensures their safety. End of quote. Notice how he very quickly passed the blame to the United Nations, to Yanami, and to Iraq. What about the United States' commitments and promises? He did not address those. And so after 18 months of living in squalor-like conditions in so-called Camp Liberty, all the promises and commitments made by the United States, including the Obama administration, stand still. Let's review. More Liberty residents have been killed or injured in the so-called Camp Liberty than have been resettled. The Obama administration needs to forego issuing Casper Milk Toast comments and get tough with the Iraqis. Quit calling for the Iraqis to identify the terrorists and call a spade a spade. The Iraqis are either the terrorists or they are supportive of the terrorists. Either way, the Iraqis must be held accountable for every action which takes place on their soil. For Kerry and Obama, use your economic tool to get, get their attention and don't be afraid to use ultimatums. One thing we know about bullies is they understand either ultimatums or force. The U.S. promises and commitments are still as valid today as the day that they were written and must be honored.
Finally, to the residents of Liberty and Ashraf, continue to hang tough.